Today in the news, the next generation of Radeon graphics from AMD has been revealed, at least the cooler. These CPUs were full of lies and AMD confuses everyone. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. So me, you, and probably everybody in the tech space is waiting for AMD to reveal their RX 7000 series of GPUs, the uh, Navi 31 or RDNA 3 based lineup of GPUs. The last time we heard something was basically just a photo from AMD during the Ryzen 7000 launch. Well, now we got another photo, but this one is way better. Take a look at this. This is the Radeon 7900. I gotta admit, it looks pretty fire. Gone is the R in the middle of every fan. Instead, you got that uh, little design. The cooler looks to be a little bit taller and the design is a little more angular. Personally, I really like it. And of course, we got the teased three red stripes on the heatsink. This looks to be an actual prototype. The PCB is red and you can see some voltage connectors and it also doesn't have a backplate. So it's probably not gonna look exactly like that, but the overall feel of the card is probably going to be the same. What do you guys think? Yay or nay on that cooler look? Moving on, they trolled absolutely everyone. So the 7800X and 7300X were two CPUs that were uh, leaked through Geekbench. Basically, there were Geekbench benchmarks run on those CPUs. It was reported that it was real. You know, you had people talking about yes, it's coming, Moore's Law is Dead saying, yes, it's real, but it's just in testing or whatever. They fooled everyone. Chipsandcheese.com fooled absolutely everyone. What they did is change the CPU ID. That's basically a line of uh, characters that's within each CPU. So change it when the uh, program, Geekbench CPU-Z, asks for it. So they took a 7950X, a 16 core processor. They removed three cores from each CCD, not removed literally, they just disabled them. Then they uh, reduced the clock speeds down 350 megahertz. They edited the name to 7800X, and there's also a 7300X. And boom, you have a 7800X on Geekbench that made everyone think that that existed. Now, don't get me wrong, personally, I'd love to see a 10 core CPU. Maybe there's gonna be a 7800X 3D or something like that, but as is, uh, this is definitely not it. AMD might be testing them, but they're not in the product stack yet. Now they did say that it was a little difficult and sometimes just wouldn't work on certain motherboards, which means it might be a slight deterrent, but from now on, leaks are gonna be pretty hard to validate. Continuing with AMD, we got some rumors of the actual release date for the high-end RX 7000 series of GPUs. Apparently, it's going to release in early December. And according to the leaker, Greymon55 over on Twitter, it would be between December 1st and 5th. Now, it is plausible that he would get this information. Uh, Greymon55 is one of the more prolific leaker in the space. And I mean, December 1st to 5th, Makes sense since, I mean, the uh, event is in about three days. Now don't forget to subscribe because I am going to stream the event. So if you want to participate, come and join me. Just a quick recap, the specs go as follows, at least the leaked specs. The 7900 XTX would have 12,288 stream processors, 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 at 20 gigabits per second, and it would have a bus width of 384 bits. As for the 7900 XT, so one model down, we would have 10,752 stream processors, 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 at 20 gigabits per second with a bus width of 320 bits. Now there could definitely be more models that are announced, but this is the information that we currently have. Also in AMD news, it looks like Asus leaked a Ryzen 7000 series mobile CPU. And the model number is the Ryzen 7 7730U. Now, what does that mean? Because Ryzen 7000 mobile is a mess. Well, let's use our friend, the AMD decoder. Let's go ahead and dial in the seven and then another seven. Where are you? There you go, another seven. And here you go. So this is a uh, 2023 product, so Ryzen 7 Zen 3 or Zen 3 Plus. Uh, it's a lower segment CPU and it is between 15 and 28 watts. So this is a last gen chip that they repurposed on the uh, Ryzen 7000 lineup. Now, personally, I don't mind because I have something like this and also there are decoders online, but for someone who goes to Best Buy to just, you know, buy whatever products they want, they think the 7000 series is going to be the latest and greatest. And while technically it is, a Zen 3 core 
is not the latest and greatest. That's because if it was 7740U, then that would actually be a Zen 4 product. And those products are probably coming around January. Actually, I just realized that's a pretty big deal. If you were to get a processor that was 773, that would mean you would have the choice between Zen 3 Plus and Zen 3. And in the mobile spectrum, these are completely different. The Zen 3 comes with uh, Radeon Vega graphics, while the Zen 3 Plus comes with RDNA 2 Radeon graphics. And they are vastly different in terms of performance. So yeah, it's a pretty big deal. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. That's 7800X, man. They freaking mind blew me. Uh, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.